Hello students and welcome to the next lesson in our AS Level Psychology course. Today we're going to be looking at feral children. Privation. Privation is when you have never formed an attachment with a caregiver. People who suffer from privation have to deal with very serious emotional and social issues as they develop when they're older. Jeannie was an example of someone who suffered from privation. She is a feral child. She was a feral child from the USA and she was isolated from humans as, they, as she was growing up. What happened was she was locked in the cellar and she was cut off from any contact with anyone for seven years. So as a result, she suffered from privation. So what happened with her developmental issues? She was locked up in the basement for seven years and she was only given food from her parents. The parents did not allow her to form attachments with them whatsoever. As a result, when she was discovered, she was brought out and she was studied by a lot of psychologists. As they studied her, they said that she behaved almost primitively. She couldn't walk very well and she felt a lot of things tactically with her face. I think they're kind of drawing a lot of connotations to sort of animalistic primitive references, and that is kind of what it, what it was like because she wasn't taught any of the real um, sort of means of human behavior, which we recognize today as social norms. Also, she couldn't speak at all, she hadn't been taught a language, and she could only communicate with grunts. Raising Jeannie. She was discovered once she was um, taken out and then she was released after a while. She was raised as if she were a child by these psychologists despite almost entering the teenage years. So they were pretty much cheating, treating her like a little child. Because Jeannie was outside the critical period, which is three years since Bowlby said, she could not form attachments whatsoever. Here are some questions on Jeannie and feral children. Have a go at attempting these on another sheet of paper and then pause it to give yourself time. Hit play to see the answers. Here are the answers. If you got these right, congratulations. I'd advise you to move on to the next video, which is on institutionalization. As always, thank you so much for watching and be sure to check out the website or comment down below if you have any questions or queries. I'll see you next time and thanks for watching. Goodbye.